Hey guys and welcome back and today I want to talk about 2.5 GBE and 5 GBE. Is it a fad or is it something we should really be looking into? Now you must have noticed throughout 2019 last year we went from a situation where we, we've had to choose between 1 gigabit of Ethernet or spend a bit more and get 10 GBE to all of a sudden everything in the middle was up for grabs. It started with the Acer Store Nimbus Store series introducing 2.5 GBE to the market and then companies like Buffalo and QNAP got on board and then they went one step further releasing things like 5 GBE to USB adapters and QNAP NASes such as the 72N series and 63N series that introduced 5 gigabit Ethernet NASes commercially and available. Um, now, moving into 2020, we're starting to see brands like QNAP get on board with 2.5 GBE and with all the other NAS brands starting to introduce 2.5 GBE and 5 GBE to replace standard 1 gigabit Ethernet, it does leave a number of us wondering is this a thing? Is this going to be important? Is this something that we should be viably investing into? Or is it a stopgap? Is it simply the case that the cost between 1 gigabit Ethernet and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports on a manufacturing point of view is pretty much the same thing? And we shouldn't be in a rush to upgrade our switches and uh, network equipment to, to take advantage of this speed. Now, me personally, I like the fact that we're seeing the end of 1 GBE. 1 gigabit Ethernet has been stalling us for way, way too long. And over the last couple of years, I've talked about how 10 gigabit Ethernet devices, be it over SFP fiber or 10G base T, so copper, these two um, kind of uh, mechanics of 10 gigabit Ethernet, at the very least, have been around for a long time. And in the last 18 months to 24 months, we've seen prices rapidly decrease. Nowhere near 1 gigabit Ethernet, don't get me wrong. But with 10 GBE costing approximately 3 to 5 times more than that over a network scale than 1 GBE, it does make a number of us wonder... If it's 10 times faster and only going to cost three to five times as much, why would I invest in two and a half and five gigabit Ethernet? Surely that's a false economy. But if you've also seen the rest of network equi equipment and switches outside of NAS evolving, you may have noticed something called Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11ax or AX Wi-Fi. And what that means in short is some of the more modern mobile phones and modern routers, be they mesh or standard that are being released, are now arriving with support of much, much faster wireless internet. And what that means is, in terms of Wi-Fi connectivity, is if you have stuff like the most modern iPhone or Samsung Galaxy, or even some of the phones coming out of the East, the kind of unbranded models, you may notice that the Wi-Fi you're getting there surpasses the 1,000 megabits or 100 megabytes mark. We're seeing phones knocking out 1,200 uh, sorry, uh, 120, 150, and 200 megabits per second connectivity wirelessly. Once you enter that realm and you've got devices on the land area network or LAN that are less than Wi-Fi, you really start to wonder what's the point. And that's what's happening with these new routers. They're arriving with Wi-Fi that surpasses 1 GBE and they're arriving with 5 GBE and 2.5 GBE port. Take for example, the Wi-Fi 6 uh, mesh that we talked about on the channel a while ago, the Asus. That arrives with a bunch of 1 GBE ports, but they support lag link aggregation. So you would be getting up to four gigabit ethernet from a NAS if you've got those four ports on a lag on the right device. And therefore in that scenario, Wi-Fi 6 can take advantage. What if you haven't got four LAN ports? What if you've only got the one, maybe one LAN and one WAN? In that case, 2.5 and 5 GBE is hugely advantageous because it allows you to remove the bottleneck wirelessly between that network. And let's not forget that internet speeds, upload and download, are not only getting better, faster and more reliable all the way all across the world, or in most of it anyway, but on top of that, we're seeing internet service providers provide their routers, the routers when you set up your internet contract, and some of those are arriving with 2.5 GBE. So in this way, 
I do think it's a good thing that NAS brands are adopting 2.5 and 5 GBE connections because the minute all the other devices that interact with the data on your NAS start jumping on board with more reliable and faster internet connections with a wider bandwidth to play with, uh, sorry, network connections to play with, then it's only, it's only for the best that NAS brands follow suit. And as long as these 1GBE ports that we're getting rid of gradually, which I think we, you know, outside of the most cost-effective NAS, will be long gone by the end of 2021. As long as we're replacing 1GBE with 2.5 or 5GBE without increasing the cost, I do think it's a viable option. Do not invest in this technology too heavily if you can still afford 10GBE, because 10GBE will always win. It's backwards compatible and will not remove your ability to enjoy 2.5 and 5 GBE overall. Do I think this is something we're going to see Enterprise adopt? Probably not. I see 2.5 and 5 GBE stopping at the SMB mark, the small medium business. Everything above that, they consider 10 GBE the standard anyway, and I can't see this bleeding into that marketplace, which is why, despite the fact the middle of the road, two, four, six, and eight base that we're gonna see from Synology and QNAP in the 2020 series are gonna to start to adopt 2.5 and 5 GBE, I think the rack mount devices will either still feature one GBE and 10 GBE, or 1GBE and PCIe upgradability, to, which allows 10GBE, 25GBE, and of course, 40GBE. But maybe you disagree. Do you think it's a fad, or do you think this is actually a viable area of investment? It paid off for Asus Store last year, and I can definitely see in terms of sales numbers and stocks of the big vendors that it is but it's being sold and it's being sold well. But do you disagree? Maybe you know different. Let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more about this technology and stay abreast of all things in NAS, click subscribe. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.